Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simulant, and today we talk about the best form of cardio for longevity. So I'm going to be reacting to a clip by Peter Atia, who talks about zone 2 training, which is the best cardio for longevity, in my opinion, as well as his. The more zone 2 you do, the better you are able to do both glucose, uh, pardon me, insulin sensitive and insulin uh, independent glucose uptake. So this makes for very efficient mitochondria when it comes to glucose disposal. And, and that's really one of the hallmarks of metabolic health. So what is zone 2 training? Essentially, zone 2 training is the um, aerobic zone between 60 to 70 percent of your maximum heart rate. So it's you know not this super intense type of training. Uh, you're able to still breathe through your nose. That's the idea. You're doing like regular jogging and low intensity cardio. And uh, this is where your heart is, you know, vigorated or it's invigorated. It's um, it's slightly elevated above your resting heart rate, but it's not so intense that you can't really sustain it for any longer than, you know, a few minutes. Uh, usually you're, able, you're still able to even like the unhealthiest of people they're able to maintain zone two training for you know several minutes in a row. Unlike sprints, like you can't really sprint for at max speed for five minutes in a row. Like <laughs> almost no one can really do it. Let's say if you have good fitness, then you're able to do a zone two training for even hours and hours. And uh, this is kind of this yeah fat burning zone is what it's called sometimes. It's this low intensity steady state. Uh, cardiovascular zone you're able to breathe through your nose and uh, yeah you're getting good exercise Run! so the reason why this is a good associated with longevity is a multifold obviously exercise is one of the best things for longevity overall reduces many comorbidities as peter atia said in the clip that it does improve your insulin sensitivity and uh, exercise also does many or clears the bloodstream from any other, uh, let's say, excess energy as well. So it burns through your um, blood sugar levels, it burns through your triglycerides, it uh, can help to lower cholesterol. So every like excess energy that usually leads to metabolic uh, dysfunction and metabolic disease is going to be cleared from the bloodstream just because it's being burned for energy, whether that be glucose or fatty acids, they're all getting burned and uh, depletes the bloodstream from that so that you would be in this, uh, you know, healthier state excess energy is harmful to the body uh, whereas you know being somewhere semi let's say in a balance homeostatic balance is where you function best at so where does the zone 2 training start the zone 2 training is almost like in the middle of the th uh, crossover effect which refers to where you switch fuel sources from burning fat to carbohydrates so you're not, you know, when you're sprinting, you're burning only glycogen, you're burning carbs for fuel. Whereas if you're walking, you're burning only fat because it's such a low intensity. And uh, in the middle, around 65% of the VO2 max is where you have the crossover effect. You switch over into burning uh, glucose instead of uh, fat and less fatty acids for fuel. So this is where you're also able to do zone 2 training. Uh, the ideal, ideally, you should do zone two training while still being able to breathe through your nose, because that's where you're teaching yourself to stay in the fat burning zone, and that's where you're uh, increasing the threshold at which you can maintain or improve uh, aerobic capacity. Essentially, you're not so you're, you don't start to sprint, you don't start to gasp for air. Then by that time, it's a bit too late. You want to maintain this. That's why you train the zone two training that you maintain this nasal breathing, and you're not going into the glycolytic state. You're still in the fat burning state, which doesn't put that much stress on the body and it also improves your mitochondrial function and uh, just increases overall aerobic capacity. So that's how you build up the aerobic capacity. You don't build aerobic capacity by sprinting. You build aerobic capacity by doing this low intensity steady state cardio and um, the threshold for that is 65%. If you get fitter, then you can increase the threshold. You can even maintain the uh, fat burning state even at like 80%, but you should still do it you should train it slowly. It takes time to stay and it patience. You need to stay patiently in the fat burning state, which mostly is it most easily. You can obviously have to measure it with uh, a watch or something like that. But uh, easiest way to assess it is also are you breathing through your nose or are you breathing through your mouth? You should always want to breathe through your nose when you're doing this uh, zone two draining. Get to the chopper! All right, that's it for this video. I think uh, it's quite self-explanatory that cardio is good for your longevity. May many people tend to ignore it or uh, neglect it, uh, but it is quite important. And in my opinion, I agree with Peter Atia that the zone two training is the best 
form of cardio because you're not putting the body under that much stress. You're getting uh, increased cardiovascular fitness and aerobic capacity. And at the same time, you're also, you know, clearing the bloodstream from excess energy and making yourself more insulin sensitive, improving your metabolic health in both in the short term as well as in the long term. So in any ways, it's, yeah, the best form of uh, cardio. How often should you do it depends on your training schedule. Uh, but generally, at least, you know, at least uh, 30, at least 30 minutes per week is the kind of minimum, in my opinion. Uh, and even then, like, you necessarily don't want to be the minimum. <laughs> you don't want to be the average. You want to be better than the average. And uh, that would require maybe, yeah, aiming for 45 minutes per week of doing a zone two training, whether that be on a bike, jogging, swimming, whichever form it is. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.